Now, how fast can you play a violin? Well, the world record is held by Ben Lee, who can play Flight of the Bumblebee in a staggering, let's get this right, 54.24 seconds. He has been touring in India and Russia with his band Fuse and aims to beat his own record next month. Well, in a moment, he's going to be showing us what he can do with a violin. First, let us get a taste of what his music sounds like. This is their song, Glorious. Ben Lee performing there with fellow violinist uh, Lindsay Stoppard before your hair changed colour. Um, <laughs> that was a good look. Look, what gave you the idea of playing... I mean, obviously, you've been probably playing the violin since you were a kid, but mm -hmm. playing it fast. Well, I was knocked off in a bike accident cycling around London about four years ago. I really hurt my wrist. My bandmate in the band Fuse said, uh, Ben, why don't you see this as a target of rehabilitation? Why don't you go for this Guinness World Record? It had been set, and I aimed to break it. So, just give it, uh, just give us a few bars of a normal pace. Now that looks pretty fast to me anyway. Now, you upped it a bit. Absolutely, we practice. If you can play something slowly, you can play it quickly. So I played it very slowly, and then I got it a little quicker. A bit faster. And eventually I got to 15 notes a second. That kind of thing. That is extraordinary. Uh, presumably, you could do that with any piece that you chose. I mean, are there any that are kind of almost sacrilegious that it's a slow piece, it should never be played at speed? <laughs> well, I think uh, Paganini was one of the first violin rock stars, and his music, like Flight of the Bumblebee, is full of quick notes that are continuous. Flight of the Bumblebee has 810 notes that are semi-quavers. You have to play four per click for the Guinness World Record, and like that, to be able to play 810 notes in under a minute, you could do the same with Paganini, something like Moto Perpetua, which means always moving. That kind of thing. Do classical violinists, and you know, wh wh I, I was told when we were doing this piece that you, there was this incredibly valuable violin. It is incredibly val valuable violin, but it's not what I kind of expected. I expected some, you know, 18th century Italian masterpiece to be coming into the studio, and you've got a very modern violin there. I just wonder whether sort of classical musicians think that what you're doing is, I don't know, sacrilegious almost. I don't think Do you think get any so. criticism? No, well... We have, a lot of, uh, we have a lot of discussions with people. Uh, what we aim to do with Fuse is to inspire people and introduce them to lots of different styles of playing the violin. You can play the violin in wonderful jazz styles, in romantic styles. You can play it very uh, percussively, like... Um, go on, give us a go. Can make it sound romantic. You can play it jazzy. So there's lots you can do with a violin. You take a violin like this, this is made of Kevlar and uh, which carbon is, fibre. Which is, when I go to a war zone, uh. what our body, pro our, our, our body armour is made of. Right, you could take a bullet in the violin. But, <laughs> but what we've done with this is we've hand applied 50,000. And this is $1.5 million, is it, this yeah. one? one? And, and, you've got another, and you've got another one that's worth two million. We've just uh, released the world's first 24 karat gold uh, electric violin in collaboration with the jeweller Theo Fennel. So you're a violinist and you're bling as well. Ah, absolutely, why not? Fantastic. And, and uh, do you still keep the musical kind of integrity if you're playing at great speed? You do. Flight of the Bumblebee is a fun piece of music. There is, I think that is the musical integrity, is to have fun and to wow people with it. Yeah, and so, uh, and so the, what gave you the first idea of going for the world record? So, you just, yeah, go on. Sure, sure. There was a wonderful violinist called David Garrett who said it back in 2008 at one minute and six, uh, six seconds, 66 seconds if you like. The challenge was to take it in under a minute. Can we do that? Well, I'm the first person to ever do it. Right, hold, hold on a second. I'm just going to set my watch. If I say go, will you go? Absolutely. Okay. 
Go. Wow, fantastic. I made that 50, 45, 46 seconds, thereabouts. I mean... Fantastic. Yeah, that was absolutely sensational. Thank you very much. Look, Ben, it's been a great, great pleasure having you with us. Um, before we go, I just need you to play it. Just set this mood, tone, bit of sombre, sad. Any requests? No, just you. You can choose. You choose. <laughs> Something sad and reflective and, you know, sombre. Because we've got to play a song for Manchester United now, yeah? Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a requiem for David Moyes. He was only in the job ten months, but let's face it, it was never going to be easy replacing Sir Alex. And later, we'll look at why the failure might not actually be his fault at all. Stay with us.